The woman who recorded the births and deaths in the St. Joseph area for more than 30 years, Francis Lunes, celebrates her 100th birthday on a Friday. As Terry Ann Brown Campbell tells us, Mrs. Nurse credits her longevity to her faith in God. Franchella Nurse was born in 1921. She has lived through wars, the Second World War, the Vietnam and the Korean Wars. She has also seen breakthroughs in science and technology and progress in the rights of women and girls. On Friday, she will celebrate her 100th year of life with her family, and she attributes her length of days to her faith in God. The first thing, as soon as I get up, is actually when I open my eyes and I'm in my bed, I see, ask him, make the sign of the cross, and I ask him to take care of me for the day. Member of Parliament for St. Joseph, Minister of Health Terence de Alsing, celebrated with Mrs. Ness on Wednesday. So you may not remember, but my two children were born right across there. Yeah. And I have to come here to register the boots. So you register the boots of my two children. Yeah. Yeah. something for the years of Her son, Dr. Louis Ness, serenaded his mother with her favorite songs on their 120-year-old piano. When Mrs. Nurse looks around today, she's not impressed with all the developments in today's society. I got a few, one or two that she went into me. She said, you say you're not to, you're not to, to beat children today, but you must do that sometime. And since they have taken away, they stopped completely from the parents and the teachers. Well, you see the type of discipline we have today. Everything has fallen. No good. Wife, mother of five, grandmother, Mrs. Nurse is still going strong mentally and physically. Asked if she would be receiving the COVID-19 vaccine, her response was a strong no. It's not necessary for me. I am not putting any foreign matter in my body. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.